one main disadvantage and why I don't think anybody should take it. And that is... <laughs> What's up guys, Dom here, back again from the Lisa Fit, and we're here with another one. This time, why I don't take growth hormone and why you shouldn't either. Let's dive right into it. Guys, like I always say, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. We're growing slowly, but I need your help. So guys, please subscribe. For those of you who don't know, HGH, human growth hormone, you've probably heard this before. It is known as the fountain of youth. It's a bioidentical hormone in our body that's typically secreted from the pituitary gland that, and it brings out certain attributes in your body physiologically that will make you bigger. Your HGH levels are typically highest when you are growing up during puberty, childhood, things of that nature. This is why we get taller, we grow wider, we become our natural adult bodies. Synthetic human growth hormone, what that's gonna do is it also has some other positive benefits that are really gonna help. It puts on muscle mass, it makes your skin tighter, it makes you appear more youthful, it makes your hair and nails grow better, it helps with fat loss. The thing with that fat loss too, synthetic HGH, it directly stimulates lipolysis where you inject it. So if you inject it into your stomach where the fat is, it will only spot reduce fat in that section. With all these benefits, why don't I take it? Why shouldn't you take it either? Well, one main disadvantage and why I don't think anybody should take it. And that is the increase in IGF-1 for prolonged periods of time. Now, IGF-1 is a good thing. It's going to actually help build muscle. Also with higher levels of this in your body, you're gonna have bigger organs as well, which isn't necessarily a good thing. That is not the reason I'm talking about this today. Increased levels of IGF-1 for prolonged periods of time shortens your lifespan. So yes, this is a wonder drug. This is a fountain of youth. A lot of people do take it, but at the expense of living a long life, I don't think it's worth it. And here at Deleuze Bit, we have changed our ways. We are all about longevity now. We do still talk about the performance enhancement drugs, but I try and educate you guys in a safe way so that you are not doing things recklessly like I have in the past. We want you to live a long life. So when it comes to human growth hormone, please, unless you are deficient in IGF-1 and it is doctor prescribed to you for that reason only, stay away from it because it does kill you faster. That's it for today, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, I am out of here. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.